Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika. Today I would like to chat to you about Zoeva. Zoeva eyeshadow palettes to be exact. I'm going to be updating you on my Zoeva eyeshadow palette collection. And the reason for that is because I feel that Zoeva, which is a German makeup brand that started doing brushes and is now slowly but surely expanding its line, is a very, very underrated brand. I believe it's now available worldwide as well. I mean, their website ships worldwide for sure. But I just think that because this is a European brand and because they don't seem to be on this like whole sending people PR train and like doing what a lot of these like Instagram like famous brands seem to be doing. I just think that that's why not that many people talk about them. If you are someone like me who loves eyeshadow, but who also loves makeup that is buildable, wearable for every day because you've got a job that is not in the realm of makeup, <laughs> then I think you may really enjoy Zoeva in terms of quality. Every single time they kept, uh, came out with new ones that seemed in, uh, nice to me, I did pick them up. I don't have the full collection, um, but I do have quite a few. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 palettes here for you today. I will not be ranking these, but I did group them into a certain number of categories because in my brain, they kind of go together in those categories. So let me start with the palette that I think doesn't really go with anything else. So this is like the in a league of its own, you could say, and that is their matte palette. And actually, if you see people talking about so Eva matte palettes, they seem to talk about the larger 35 euro palettes, which I think have 15 shades. All of the ones I have here, say for one, have 10 shades. So they're a bit bigger. And I never opted for that because I didn't find it very appealing. I just wanted to try matte Zoeva eyeshadow. Uh, I'm not much of a matte palette fan though. So an all matte palette is just not something I reach for all the time. However, this is a good matte palette. Plus it gives you a lot of options. You get your neutrals over here, but then you get three warm tones over on this side and you get three cool tones over on this side. So you've got your neutrals, your warms, your cool tones. So it does do everything that you could possibly do within the matte spectrum, I feel. It's just that a palette like this, because I'm just, I prefer shimmer. If you like shimmer, Zoeva has got your back, you will see in a minute. But yeah, they also do an all matte. Is this the best matte palette I've ever tried? No, this is also why this is currently on the chopping block and something that after I film this video and when I get around to doing another declutter, this is going to be leaving my collection because I just don't reach for it. And then I have a set of palettes here. There are three of them in total. And these I would say are the, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how I would sort of describe these, but in my brain, they kind of fit into the same category. They're all quite dark, deep, quite sultry, and they have a couple of interesting shades. The one that I like the least of these is the Opulence palette. I actually see a lot of people are like, oh, I want to try Zoeva, and then they try this palette. And it's actually the worst Zoeva palette I ever tried. So just putting that out there, if I had to rank these, this would be at the bottom for sure, because this is not a great palette, especially not if you don't like like very warm tones. And I think that that's why this appeals to be to so appeals to so many people. It's got a lot of warm tones and then this pop of blue, but this pop of blue doesn't work. I have not been able to get this on. People recommended I would wet this. I could make it work that way. It doesn't work for me. It just doesn't. You get two very random like cool tones over here. These two reds and that copper are really nice. But what is what just irks me is that these four shades are nearly identical. It's like different renditions of gold. And to me, like gold eyeshadow is just not my favorite thing to begin with. Like the gold is usually the thing I skip. <laughs> So for me, this is just not perfect, especially because that blue is a bit of a dud. I don't have any other dud shades in any of my Zoeva palettes, I feel, apart from in this one. Whereas that blue, that, that pop of blue could have just made the palette and it didn't. So that's why this I wouldn't recommend. However, the other two that I've put in this category are the Premier and the Eclectic Eyes. And these are stunning palettes. So the Premier palette has 
first of all, really stunning packaging. This palette is sort of inspired by silent movie era, that sort of idea. It definitely has this like 1920s feel to it. And actually, if you open the palette up like this, you get her face and then you have her on the inside of the palette as well. This is warm tones. Like I feel that this is very similar in terms of like warmth and that like sort of dimension that the opulence has. But this has a couple of things the opulence doesn't have. It's got mauves. These three on the bottom row are stunning, stunning, neutrally like plummy mauve shades. Then you get these two like coppery bronzes and then you get this gold, but it has more of like an olivey undertone. You get a straight up olive and you get a duochrome. This is very similar to ColourPop's Glass Bowl. Just saying. ColourPop is not the only brand that has that shade. It's a very stunning duochrome and especially if you put these shades together and then that as a bit of a like blend shade all around it, I feel I can pull some stunning looks out of this palette. This is amazing. It's got a couple of very unique shades and that's what I love Zoeva. Like Zoeva does unique shades very well. Case in point, the eclectic eyes. I have one gripe with this palette because if you look at this palette, like it's got a face on it and then this like gold, and you can think like, oh, if it has that bright turquoise and that purple, it doesn't. Uh, so it has a much more muted color story than what the packaging might suggest, which I like, if this would have been brighter, ah, it would have been so much better. But still, again, warm tones for sure, for sure. But in here you get more of like a shimmering plum and then you get this really nice like lavender kind of shade. This reminds me a bit of one of the lavender shades that I think is in the, ooh, what's it called? The Astro Pink by Kaleidos. That's what this reminds me of. And this palette is two years older than the Kaleidos palette, for sure. Like this came out years ago. Um, and then you have your bronzes and your golds and you get two like neutral mattes to tie everything together. But where this palette is at is this little corner right here, especially these two shimmers. This green, it's called Dimensional Play. And that's a really, really good name for that shade because this, it's got green, it's got a bit of gray, it's got like a little bit of golden sparkle running through it. It's so, so absolutely stunning. And then this blue, even though I would have wanted it to be like this, like in a matte, like this really bright turquoise, I think that could have been really nice in this palette. Oh well. This is a blue with like a gold flip to it. Very similar to Anastasia's Venice, I would say. So it's got those two really stunning shades. And then you get this glittery shade, which actually if you really pack it on, you do get the glitter. Um, but the glitter can be a little bit difficult to transfer. And then you get a matte cool tone. So this is a really stunning, very different palette. And that's another thing that I appreciate about Zoeva. They do color stories that not a lot of other brands do. Shall we just talk about that then? Because Zoeva is really good at doing neutrals with a twist. Case in point, these three. The Melody, the IC, and the Heritage. Let's talk about the Melody first. So it's got these butterflies on it, and this is a very neutral palette, but neutral with a twist. You don't get a whole lot of mattes. You only get like four in them. Um, but you get these two duochromes, and also here, this shade, I feel, has a bit more of a flip to it as well. Uh, this peachy shade has a bit more of a gold to it as well. So when it comes to neutrals, but then with a little bit of an interesting texture, I feel that Zoeva has really started doing that and taken that to the next level. Oh, by the way, this, like, this shade here as well looks like a white. It's not, it's got like a pinky sparkle running through it. So again, lots of very different shades. This shade here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's got a green flip to it. It's so stunning. And this purple also has a pink flip to it. The only sort of like boring shades are these four over here. But these are like your standards that you can use to just do a neutral look. And then you pop one of these shades either all over the lid or on the lower lash line and you have a neutral, very wearable makeup look, but one that has something that you won't get with a lot of other palettes. Uh, and then we have the IC palette, and this has really gorgeous reflective packaging. It has this like pinky undertone and then this gold overlay. 
uh, which is really pretty. And this again has a lot of duochromes and jewel tones as well. So you get four jewel tones over in this corner, but then these five shimmers are duochromes for sure. So again, these have a bit of a flip to them. This red isn't a red. It's got a pinky flip, but you don't see it until it's on your eyes. And this is definitely the kind of makeup, like this is why I think again, so Eva isn't like taking the internet by storm because these are not the kind of shades that will show up really well on camera. They just don't. These are things you really have to see in real life that you need to swatch, that you need to put in your eyes because especially like a shade like this, this pinky shade, it's got a bit of a blue tint to it, blue flip. If you put this all over your eye, just because of the roundness, like the, just the fact that your eyeball is there, it's going to show up and look differently depending on how the lights hit, light hits it. If you're looking for a brand that does like duochromes, they don't really do multi-chromes, but that duochromes and that are fairly affordable because those can be very expensive, try a Zoeva palette, especially one of these three that I'm currently talking about. You cover that up. We've got a cool tone neutral palette with some jewel tones, but because this has a pink flash when you put it on, it's not as warm toned as it looks. So that's another thing that Zoeva does really well. They do warm tones for sure, but they also do some stunning cool tone palettes. The Heritage palette then, last but not least in this little category, um, and this is definitely also more of a jewel tone palette. You get these like cranberry shades, which are really stunning. They sort of remind me of the two shades that you get in the Born to Run by Urban Decay, but then more muted, more wearable. The one in the Urban Decay ones are much more vibrant, but this again has some really stunning shades. You get like your champagne and your gold and your like taupey bronzy kind of shade. Megan, this purple, which has blue glitter running through it. You pack this onto the lower lash line. It is stunning. You do get two mattes to tie the look together and you get two mattes over here to deepen things up. And then you get some gorgeous shimmers to just really tie the look together. So for me, I like an even 50-50 split between mattes and shimmers. That's what the Heritage palette gives you. There are some interesting shades again in here. This doesn't really have any duochromes though, I do have to say. These are more like just yummy jewel tones. And then I think that these two also fall sort of into the same category for me. These are palettes that have been in Zoeva's line for a long time. That's another thing I appreciate by Zoeva. They don't tend to discontinue products willy-nilly because they no longer do well or they've been around for a while. I think you can still get every single eyeshadow palette they ever did. <laughs> you can. Uh, and these are the two palettes I want to mention here. Uh, my least favorite of these two is the Rose Golden. This is a palette not a lot of people talk about, and I feel for good reason because this is a bit bland. Uh, it does have a really nice sort of like pattern on it. Like the packaging of Zoeva palettes is also very nice and sleek. It's cardboard, it feels sturdy, and it's still got a magnet as well. So even if you lose the sleeve, you can still travel with these and it's just fine. It is cool toned for the most part. It's got some warmth over here in the bottom. It does have a really nice like coppery kind of shade, more rose gold leaning. But for a rose gold palette, it's not very gold and it's not very rose gold either. <laughs> so for me, this is a bit of a misnomer. Plus I never felt I could really get looks out of this as a standalone palette. As a standalone palette, I feel this is just a little too samey samey. Uh, a bit like the opulence where you get so many golds that it just doesn't really look very distinct. I feel that these four shades are just super similar. It's all very light, which I usually really like, as you will see in a minute, but this is just, it's, it's not the best. So this is again one that's on the chopping block for sure, um, because this is just one I don't reach for. You will see in a minute why I bought this palette, because I used to be very afraid of darker tones on my skin tone uh, because I'm quite fair. So when I ha didn't have that much makeup experience yet, I actually bought this alongside another palette by Zoeva that I do really like to sort of make it work for me. So I sort of use that as a palette to tone down the other palette, but by now I feel comfortable wearing that other palette on its own. I'll see that in a minute. But I also wanna mention the On Taupe. 
if you are fair skinned, you like cool tones, and you want something that's not too intense and that's perfect for every day, try this. The On Taupe is still available. This is a stunning palette. It's also very bland. <laughs> but it's bland in a good way to me. Uh, you don't get a lot of depth of dimen or dimension to this, but this is the kind of palette that for very neutral everyday looks, you know, you go to the office and you don't wanna make it stand out too much, I don't mind wearing something much more intense than this. By now, I feel comfortable doing other things, but this has sort of like all the mattes that you sort of need to make a look, I feel. Um, this is a purple with like a golden tone shimmer, which doesn't really show up, but where it's at for me is this bottom row. It's got a true taupe, and it's got a more of a silvery taupe. And then these two look identical in the pan. They don't look that special, but Spun Pearl has a blue flip and Shears and Voiles has a pink flip. These two are duochromes. Again, this is one of the older palettes in Zoe Vuzz's line and they have been doing duochromes since day one, you guys. This has some really stunning shades. Those two shades in the bottom corner, like if you use them in the inner corner, so, so stunning. Then we're in for the home stretch, and these I think are the palettes that most people know from Zoeva, and that's their chocolate range, or yeah, the, let's just call it that. So they have the Cocoa Blend, they have the Caramel Melange, they have the Blanc Fusion, and then later they also came out with the Spice of Life. Again, really, really stunning palettes. The Cocoa Blend was one of the first Zoeva palettes I bought together with that rose golden palette. This was the palette I was afraid of using. <laughs> and this palette made Zoeva a little bit YouTube famous. Um, you can see why it's got all the warm tones that you might want. And I think that in terms of a color story, this is by now perhaps a little bit dated, um, but it is still a really good one. Again, you get the mattes that you would need to do anything you would like. You get some interesting shimmers. You get this really stunning bronze shade. This cranberry was like everyone's favorite for a minute there. You get this very random cool tone in the corner, but I do feel it works with everything that's going on in here. This is not my favorite Zoeva palette. It was a bit dark and sultry, which is why I got the rose golden to tone this down. By now, if I were to reach for these kind of shades, I would just use this. Caramel Melange. I am not a fan of warm tones, but this is one of my favorite warm tone palettes. Uh, stunning packaging. Um, and then the inside is what that looks like this. It's got this like orange matte shade, but this shimmer here. If you, if you want like the perfect, like you know that shade that caramel has when it's like in the inside of a chocolate bar, it's this shade, but then for your lids. Um, it's got six mattes, which for Zoeva is quite a bit. So you get six mattes and then you get four shimmers, just, so, so stunning. And because it has those mattes, that's why I, I really like this because these are mattes, warm tone mattes that work really well. Another really, really good palette I feel that a lot of more people should know about and talk about is the Blanc Fusion. This is their golden tone palette, you could say. It's got, this palette again has been around for a while and it does yellows which of course we saw a lot at the end of 2019. All of a sudden, everybody started doing yellows last year. This palette has been on the market since like what, 2016? They're just ahead of, ahead of the pack often and that's why they get ignored. You get five mattes, five shimmers, late bloomer. Like if you don't wanna get the Caramel Melange because you feel that that is too warm toned, you want something a bit more neutral, this has five neutral matte shades that are a bit more like true, true neutral leaning. You get these stunning yellows. Uh, this white shade is a duochrome. It has a golden flip to it. And then you get these two stunning shimmers. Late Bloomer is like Liquid Center in the Caramel Melange. It's that bronzy, yummy goodness. This has to be one of my favorite Zoeva palettes. If I were to get rid of all of these, I think the one that I would keep is this one because it's got everything I want. Spice of Life, this came out a lot later. It's got red packaging and then the silver, but it is promoted as being part of this chocolate bar range. I think you can buy a set with all four, if I'm not mistaken. 
Um, and this is warm tones, but again, also quite neutral. And the reason, like what makes this palette just tick is this cool tone right here. Like, hmm, it's called Unlike Any Other. Again, what's in a name? It is absolutely stunning. You again get four mattes in here. Uh, the deepest shade is a shimmer, which not everybody likes. You get this really stunning coppery, like very vibrant shade. You can again get a gold and like these two bronzy shimmers. So for me, um, these two we can cover up and then those eight shades I feel work really well. Then I have one more palette for you. This would be palette number 14 and this is the one that I haven't used yet. It was my aim to try and use everything before I sat down to film these videos, but you know, sometimes life just gets in the way. So this is the Precious palette. And this is the only like other sized palette that I have by Zoeva. This is a six pan palette. And this is what it looks like. It's got stunning packaging. And the reason why I wanted to try it is because this is quite expensive if you compare it to the price point of the other palettes. So those all retail for 23 euros. And this one is like 18 and you only get six shades that are also smaller, it seems. Um, but it's got these two stunning like purpley shades Again, a gold, oh, they love their golds, but also this like mauve shade and this mauve shimmer, and then this peach with a gold flip to it. So I just wanted to still do a look with this to see if this is anything different. The must have palette would definitely be the Blanc Fusion. Blanc Fusion, Caramel Melange, and On Taupe. Those are the three that till this day, I still love the most. And those would be my three favorites, the Blanc Fusion, Caramel Melange, and the Antope. Those would be my three top three recommendations by Zoeva if you are looking into getting this brand. So there you have it. That's my entire Zoeva eyeshadow palette collection. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I am currently in the midst of doing nothing but uh, eyeshadow palette videos over on this channel. So please stay tuned if you love eyeshadow palettes as much as I do, because then we will be having lots of other things to talk about in the next couple of weeks to come. So I really hope you have a great day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.